Hello viewers, I just came home and I walked into the bedroom and it felt very nice and warm in here, which is kind of unusual for this time of year. So out of curiosity, I looked at the thermometer just to see what the temperature was and I saw that it was reading 77 degrees, which is a very reasonable reading compared to what it feels like in here. However, something else on this particular thermometer caught my eye and that was a reading of negative 40 degrees outside with a high today of 92. Neither of those numbers are anywhere near an accurate representation of the real world. I believe today it was a high of uh, upper 60s and it wasn't sunny. So those both those readings are just totally off the wall and absolutely ridiculous. I have another thermometer also outside in the yard and this one is reading 64 degrees uh, with a high of 68 which is a lot more believable. So there is inherently something very wrong with this thermometer. Uh, I'm not sure what it is for certain but I have a hunch that it could just be a battery issue because I can't even remember the last time I changed the batteries in this particular outdoor sensor. But I am hungry, so I'm going to go consume dinner, and then I will investigate this thermometer failure later on. Here we are outside, and there's a deplorable spider there, but there's the battery compartment. So, let's see if I can get this open here, holding the camera and the flashlight at the same time. Um, how does this open? There we go. And I'm going to uh, turn the camera off for this because actually, well, can I do this? Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see if I can get this out without these batteries going flying all over the place. It's one. Two. Are there three in there? No, there's four in there. Come on, batteries. Please come out. Okay. That's all the batteries. Yep, okay. Now, I do see here that this is wet on the inside which is not good so let's take these batteries inside and check the uh, remaining charge Well, that's not good. All the batteries are charged. Now, I want to stop here just for a moment because these are, in fact, single-use lithium batteries. And I'm sure the comments box is going to blow up because for those of you that watch my videos regularly, you will know that I don't like lithium batteries and I don't like single-use batteries. So, why in the world do I have a combination of those two deplorables in my equipment? The answer is relatively simple. These just work better in this kind of a scenario. These lithium batteries tend to be more resilient to extreme temperature changes. <coughs> Excuse me. And in a very low drain application like this thermometer or a clock, for instance, is another very good uh, example. These kind of batteries tend to have a longer lifespan than a rechargeable kind such as nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydrate. Now I do use the rechargeable kind in the indoor unit which is a lot easier to access and replace the batteries in but for the outside unit which is exposed to harsh conditions and isn't something I want to be changing out often I will use these kind of batteries. Looking at the indoor reader you can see there is no signal sensor so I'm going to go outside and put these batteries back in and perhaps just a restart of the device will cause it to start working again. Okay, I put the batteries back in. We got a connection. I think. Or maybe that means it's establishing the connection. It's still reading negative 40. 
I'll wait for those peppers to stop moving and see what happens. I've let it sit for a little while and now it appears that there is no sensor signal at all. So even though those batteries are checking out okay, I've got some other batteries here. I'm going to go put these into the unit and see what happens. I put those other batteries in and we're still not getting a signal. So that is not a good sign. I took those other batteries that were in the sensor and I put them in here just as another way to check to see if they're any good. And it's working fine, so I don't think it's an issue with the batteries. So I don't know what's wrong with it. I'm going to have to do some more investigating and we'll have to do a part two on this video.